Welcome back guys to another amazing video. This is my first squad upgrade video. I am free to play player spend zero dollar on this game. Shopping time. I have spent half of my coins on team upgrade and kept half for investment. Let's quickly look at the squad. Then I will play one head to head to check players gameplay. I am using 4-3-3 attack formation for squad upgrade, but I like 4-3-3 holding formation more for head-to-head. -head. There are not many good and cheap goalkeeper available right now, so I am going with this Donnarumma card. His gameplay is good, and red version, only around 60 million coins. Stats are looking decent. I have not trained him to 25 yet. For left back, I am going with this 92 Maldini card gameplay-wise too good. Stats are decent, but gameplay-wise, top three left back card. For right back, I need good pace and decent in defense. So best option available was Utodi Frimpong. Frimpong's gameplay is good when CB are aggressive. He is staying back second best RB currently available. For center back, I am going with Teotewi Nomine Van Dyke. His cards are perfect, 6'4 height with power header trait. Amazing stats and gameplay. To pair with VVD, I am using this Vidic card, OVR wise. Not that good, but definitely gameplay wise, one of the best card. Look at the amazing stats, and his current value is only 33 million. If you want a CB, I will recommend you this card. So, this is my defense now. Let's quickly look at midfield. Obviously, Goulet will be there. He has the best card in game. If you have not done the exchange yet, do it. This is best card Ia gave free this season. Stats are too good, and he can play a CMCB Stricker everywhere you want him to play. And second CM will be this honorable mention Valverde card. He is too smooth if you want CM with smooth agility, good passing and shooting, go for him. Only con of this card is 3 skill move, but I didn't feel that con while using him too good card. Definitely recommend. And for Cam I am using Goat. With dexterity skill point best Cam card in game right now. Perfect card, good pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. I choose 4-3-3 attack formation due to him. His through passing is too good to build run. So, midfield also done now. Quickly see attack. Then I will play head-to-head. -head. For right wing, I will use Egyptian King. Best right wing card right now available. I have uploaded his gameplay review. You can check it too. He scored amazing goals. These are the amazing stats. And his celebration also got upgraded. 95 OVR done two players yet to come. And the best left winger card in Game Turtle. He is the best card in my team. 148 pace is crazy. He is perfect. His card art, stats, celebration down to the last thing, perfect. And the last card to be added in my team is Legend Cruyff. 99 OVR Donnie has free to play. Five star skill move, five weak foot, and card is smooth as F. In my next team upgrade, I will buy my GOAT CR7 SWE. So this is my current squad. How much will you rate and give suggestions and comments? Now let's play one head to head match and see how are my players performing. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Real Madrid 
And they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Salah. Rodri. Well, good use of the ball. Very effective passing sequence. Good patient build-up as they try to fashion something. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Kreif. Oh, he's through here! Ronaldo. Roberto Carlos. Now, who can he play it to? Holland. Now with Ronaldo. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Messi. Kulic has it. Now, Kreif. Maldini. Joao Cancelo. Salah. Splendid tackle. High quality defending. Messi. Can they forge ahead? Clear deflection and a corner now. Ronaldo. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Paolo Maldini. Mbappe with it. Holland. Federico Valverde. Kreif. Messi. And just like that, Lionel Messi has scored. The first goal was always going to be important. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Ronaldo. Rodri. This is Salah. Well, you can sense the threat is there. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Plenty of support here. Mbappe. They could level it. It's a perfect challenge. Into the... Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, in it goes. Spectacular goal. Well, so typical of him. That's why he's been named in the team of the year. Well, you can't ignore this player, can you? Selected for the team of the year. He's an outstanding technician. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Maldini. Mo Salah. Well, full marks for getting past him. He could pick out a teammate. Holland. Clarence Seydorf. Well, a fierce effort, but quite simply not accurate enough. Virgil van Dijk. Now Mo Salah. Now, Kreif, sloppy in possession from Real. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game, and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. 
going forward there was some really nice incisive play too it's a good result for them